300 years, humans thought they were alone in the Capulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Raynor vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minsk for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Coprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic, whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ire was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. Old prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Mengst, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of Dark Forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions, and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ayr. Raynor had vowed to see Kerrigan dead, but his retaliatory strike failed. Even his rebellion against Manx's tyranny proved ineffective against the Dominion's propaganda machine. But with the arrival of old friends and mysterious new allies, Raynor revived his campaign against the Dominion, scoring major victories on multiple fronts. But Zeratul warned him about the encroaching darkness, and said the key to stopping Amon was the Queen of Blades. She was needed alive. In a daring raid on the Zerg homeworld of Char, armies from the Dominion and Raynor, with help from Arcturus's son Valerian, used an ancient Zelnaga artifact to neutralize Kerrigan's power and free her from Amon's grasp. The Queen of Blades was helpless. The Dominion wanted her dead. Rainer couldn't allow it. Jim? It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Valerian Minx offered them sanctuary, but his father could not let this opportunity pass. During the raid, Kerrigan and Rainer were separated. Kerrigan escaped 
while Raynor... He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Kerrigan sought vengeance. She set out to reclaim her position as Queen of Blades. With Zeratul's guidance, Kerrigan gathered the Zerg broods and ruled the swarm once again. Only this time, free. The killing will never stop. Until Minsk is dead. Kerrigan began dismantling the Dominion's military, one mission at a time. To her surprise, she learned that Raynor was still alive. She chartered a course to Korhal, Minx's stronghold. Despite encountering his best troops and traps, she personally ended his life. But there was little time to celebrate. Amon's plans were still unfolding. Kerrigan left Raynor to rebuild while she hunted her true enemy. Raynor and Valerian Minx set about reforming the Dominion with a just government. With the Zerg and Terrans quelled, Hierarch Artanis saw an opportunity. He declared that the unified Protoss, Templar and Dark Templar alike, would retake ire. Any dissenting voices went unheard amid the hope for reclamation. Zeratul set off alone, searching for the truth, hoping against hope that the Hierarch was not making a terrible mistake. Union of our every thought and emotion.
At long last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! to the warp network at Karasan now. Well done, Salendis. Once the warp conduits are free of infestation, our forces will strike as one across the surface of Ire. The Templar await your command, Hierarch. The warp conduits have been secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need.
You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Entaro Artanis, brother. Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of Adun, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. Zeratul, I... I can sense your presence. The Kala is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. Artanis, you must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless, purposeless. I grant you salvation. Amon, the Dark God is here. On ire, he has wrested control of the Kala. The Templar have fallen. With our nerve cords severed, only we Nerezim remain unaffected. It falls to us to halt this madness, brothers. You address me. We must reach young Artanis. I only pray that we are not too late. Honor command. Voices. Whisper of oblivion. Of salvation. I seek the path of salvation. We must not hesitate. My Prophecy guides us. We must not hesitate. Kala, fury, and rage. I seek the path of salvation. Then, Zeratul, you are alone. Do not resist the unity he brings. I will fulfill my calling. My allegiance is... I... I can hear... his whispers. Fight, Dartanus! Do not let Amon consume you! Ending hatred. He has corrupted the Kala. Your nerve cords chain you to his will. They must be removed.
retour. generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. The Spear of a Doom lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Artemis, why do you flee from your salvation? Solendis, she has fallen under Amon's control. Kerax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online! The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by creep. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun's support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. Power transfer completed. The Spear of Badoon is ready to depart. Let all first bone free from Amon aboard, Facemith. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command.
marvel of Kalai Engineering, and last of the three great Ark ships. It's created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed, entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time, when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Carax, and we will free the Templar. Possession, the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybridly. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Hierarch, before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. Observer? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every rebel. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. 
This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylong. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. The assembly panel awaits, Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Select a warrior category to be- Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Many battles await you, Hierarch. Choose a faction, and lead them to glory. The Shadow Guard waits. We are the Blades of Iron. tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth, plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ayr. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us, more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events, and know there is a grander design behind them. It don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on ire. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was gonna end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness. Your pain. Does the Spear of a Dune bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. 
I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's gonna take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. This ain't good. Sky Shield's not gonna last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. Friend Raynor, Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Core is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. Gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner. Your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the Keystone. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planetside, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the Keystone was taken. My mama used to have a saying. When it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius core evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. We shall not let them escape. The Solar Core requires your attention, Hierarch. Please visit it at your earliest convenience. It's looking bad, Artanis. A lot of dead people down there. We gotta take these bastards out. What could have led these Terrans to come under Amon's thrall? They were assigned to some top secret details, running security at Dr. Narud's hybrid research labs. After Valerian re-established the government, the Mobius Foundation went dark. Last transmissions were chaotic, crazed. Next thing we know, the attack started. The Amon has turned them into his slaves. An army. They are dangerous, but they are only the start of the war to come. You always were the optimistic sort. I must remind you, our sacred law, the Deul, clearly forbids us to interfere with lesser beings. Unless there is a direct threat to the Empire. Your choice to aid these Terrans is... perplexing. Why do you assume that they are lesser beings, Rohana? I do not make an assumption. Gaze upon them. Unsophisticated. Primitive. They communicate through... orifices. Mouths. Many, including myself, once thought as you do. But I have seen their nobility. In time, you will also. The Solar Matrix. 
Vortex Core. Truly an impressive sight. A synthetic star. I imagine what went into its creation. This chamber provides power to the spear of Adun and all its systems. Its radiance even contributes nourishment for our warriors. How long until you can bring its tactical systems online? System analysis has begun, but the star has lain dormant for an eon. It will take time and a powerful ignition catalyst like Solarite to restore it to full capacity. Solarite? The Firstborn haven't utilized Solarite in millennia. This vessel is ancient, Hierarch. We will need to exhaust even unconventional resources if we are to bring it to bear. Do what you can, Faith Smith. We will acquire what you need. Very well. You may begin augmenting the Solar Core whenever you are ready. Select the core to start reviewing your options, Hierarch. This array displays an overview of the Spear of Adun's weapon and support systems. Each system can only be configured to have one active ability at a time. You may select different abilities to complement your tactical decisions in different battles, Hierarch. Our current available Solarite is displayed here. Any leftover Solarite can be routed to our auxiliary systems. You may begin diverting Solarite now. Different, Faye Smith. Ah, you must be referring to these mechanical arms. I constructed them to improve my efficiency while running the Solar Core. So far, they have been quite helpful. Moby's Core is making their way to Bennett Port with the artifact. We gotta stop them before they get away with it. Welcome to Bennett Port, at least what's left of it. Mobius Corps entrenched themselves here to keep us from the artifact. Valerian's setting up his base now. Once he gets... Ah! Raynor! What is happening? The hybrid are channeling void energy into the Keystone. The resulting psionic disruption has overwhelmed the Terrans. Deploy our immortals. We need heavy assault to protect these Terrans until the disruption subsides. That's two I owe you, Artanis. Felt like I was losing my damn mind. The Keystone is recharging, Commander. They will surely activate it again soon. We must reclaim it. You ain't kidding. Let's lock and load, partner. Damn. Look at this place. Even the Zerg didn't tear into the city like this.
Did you know this warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not? Sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies, but that may not be its sole purpose. 
I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. The Spear of Adun has finished replicating it. Uh, hey there, your royal ness. Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no Protoss before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. Continue your report. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the Keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy! Skippy? The War Council awaits you, Hier. Robotic assault units can now be added to our army, Hierarch. I return to serve. Adun Toridas. the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet, faith alone will not defeat Amon. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Ida when we were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. All this time... This wretched little world was within striking distance of our fleets. Much has changed since your era, Preserver. First you consort with those Herons, and now the Fallen Ones? It is heresy. You must know this. The Dark Templar are now our allies. There was a time when the Protoss were broken. Throughout the Aeon of Strife, we tore at each other with wanton abandon. Only one path was ever found to end the madness and unify our people. The Kala. The Dark Ones rejected its light. They denied their own race. How can you fight for them? 
For one so sworn to preserve our history, Rohana, how can you be so blind to its turn? I... I see I have offended you, Hierarch. My apologies. Adapting to this period is... difficult. I've been trying to isolate the major population centers in need of evacuation. The Zerg signatures far outnumber those of the Protoss, but most of the survivors seem to have gathered within Talametros. There must be Nerezine phase smiths you know among them. Those who stayed behind. I am not seeing any Protoss life signs from within the engineering base, Hierarch. Then they have met their fate. Or perhaps they've fought their way to safety. The Dark Templar do not follow our caste system. Some of their faith smiths are trained warriors, skilled as any of ours. That does give them an advantage I had not realized. But then, our people are very different. Of course, Hierarch. Shakura's teams with Amon's Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. The launch bays have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artemis, and they will never forget it. I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this! Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Aya. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayer. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Of all the Templar, you never wavered in the belief that our two peoples could live in unity. It is something I admired in you. It is ironic to hear you say this. All this time, I believed you were reluctant to accept the unity I sought. You and I had many a disagreement in the Twilight Council. For day by day, I saw my people losing what they were. I saw our precious old ways erode. 
You wished to preserve them. I am Nerezim, Dark Templar. I hold great pride in my people. But you are also Protoss. That is the greater affiliation. That is not what the Conclave believed when we were exiled long ago. Your kind had ire. Our culture is all we ever had. What have you discovered about the Keystone, Faye Smith? Only that my skills may be inadequate to assess it. Explain. Imagine the Terrans obtained one of our fabrication matrices. Could their scientists ever understand its engineering? The task set before me is of a similar scale. The Cell Naga were beings beyond our understanding. Keep working, Karax. I have faith in you. Cloaked warriors are now available for deployment. Got to... Vengeance for Iron. Got to... The evacuation ships have reported in. All are present and are being escorted by the Spear of a Dune. This was not an easy decision, but I would rather see Shakuras destroyed than overwhelmed by Amon Zerg. We have much to plan, Hierarch. Tell me, Vorazun, how will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's phase prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him, will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold, but we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Forces have secured the Zelnaga Temple Grounds. Artemis, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now, but without the Uraj and the Kallus, it will take time. Time is not all it will take. The temple's energies are regulated by three Zenith Stones. Only once they are destroyed can the temple be overloaded. Until then, we must defend it from the Zerg and their hybrid masters. The Nerezim have long used Kaderan monoliths to protect our lands. I see your face smith has become familiar with them. Indeed, Matriarch. The monoliths are quite deadly and fire a considerable distance. They should prove instrumental in our defense. The moment has come. Let us begin! Templar, initiate dimensional recall! Get to safety, now! Nidus works. The Zerg are poised to breach the temple. Have faith, Matriarch. Your fallen people cry out for vengeance, and they shall have it.
that those of our kind suffer. Separated from the glory of the Kala. is gone. It has become one with the eternal night. But the traditions we forged there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter, true Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone, as Dark Templar, against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. The Nerezine fought valiantly beside us, even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Their homeworld has always been ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun. So saith Judicator Zentheon. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? Adun chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanis. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. An Arudin, Shakurus. Shakurus has fallen, and Amon's grip tightens. If we are to stand against him, we will need more than warriors. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? 
the forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. To obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Aldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. as weak as you appear, Artemis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of Adun. Wait, there is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. You wish to see me, Faye Smith? Artanus, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought... well... he believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. 
Karax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times. And now, you lead the Protoss. I will with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the Hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. We have acquired new robotic support technology for review. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered to act as scouts for us. They will keep us aware of Amon's movements. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Blades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. But all logic defies it. We, of the Nerezim, often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Zelnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. 
Show me, Karax. within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zeratul, many thought you mad. And yet, once more, you have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Phoenix, you appear distressed. Apologies, Hierarch. I have been pondering the events that brought me here. I have discovered there are holes in my memory. Battles recorded here in the ship's archives that I should be able to recall, but cannot. What is it you have found? Records of my defeat at Antioch and being revived as a Dragoon. But this body, it is clear to me that I am no Dragoon. There is more to those records, Phoenix. But what you uncover may not be desirable. I am willing to face the truth, old friend, however difficult it may be. Then I hope you find the answers you seek. How Zeratul foresaw the Keystone would lead us here is uncanny. It is now clear that it was this device's primary purpose. Zeratul was in touch with an expression of reality beyond my understanding. This place should not exist. It defies all decrees of science, shatters all understanding of astral mechanics. I once thought we Protoss had reached the pinnacle of attainable knowledge. I was a fool. There is far more in the galaxy than exists within Protoss' understanding, friend Karax. I know this now. It is hard to believe we stand above Ulnar, the home of the Ihan Ri, the Zelnaga. The Judicators theorized the Zelnaga left Ayr to return to a place such as this. It is said they slumbered through the ages. Zeratul believed the artifact would lead us unto hope. The Zelnaga may be the hope he spoke of. If the legends are true, then the Zelnaga are below, awaiting their children to awaken them. Then let us hope so. Karax has utilized data from Glacius to bring the robotic sentinels on... Hierarch. It appears we cannot receive transmissions while we are within the rift. We have been cut off.
The Spear of Adun's sensors have located what appears to be an access way into the temple. Our starships are prepared to move on your command. Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Grand Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Ulnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyrock, the Taldorim are here. They are taking control of the Celestial Locks. have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening. It seems Amon's forces have drawn back. I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. Then we have succeeded. It will not be long before we see what fate has in store for us. I'm afraid the Spear of Adun will not be able to assist you inside the temple. Please be careful, Hyrock. Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Ulnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. Since we arrived here, the Keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the Keystone? Acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the origin point information was stored. As if the Keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. have arrived, and they await your evaluation. Await. It is a good day to die. The skies await. Adun Toridas, Hyrak. Vorazun, I know not what I shall find below. 
But I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return. I have come seeking this Zeldar. place, the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far, all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been... difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races, working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. I serve my... What is it, oh. Strength in unity. I... I see now. The Zelnaga were the first. Born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the Keystone and find our way here. Amo, 
Dawn indwells my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the Void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Dawn with... The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning. Purpose. It was here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change, and one pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Purity of essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack! Envayash. The... Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. So, what do you say? Ready to meet your maker? Indeed. Come. The Chamber of Ascension lies ahead, and our salvation within.
so easily broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer! Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter of the you're released, your blade will not be in my back. You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. Take us to Artanis. Most wise. I have brought an additional defensive ability online, Matriarch. Please visit the Solar Core to configure it. After all, the purifier weaponry from Glacius has allowed us to upgrade one of our units. absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldarim speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the void has been opened. Is there any way to pinpoint Artanis? No. The energies are making us virtually blind. 
We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. Your Hierarch is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. be a reckoning. From this point forward, we stand united. We shall turn back the tide of Amon's darkness. We fought well this day, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have. Gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders. But I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. Artanis, Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my blade will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's death fleet amasses its slain awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zalnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? 
It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. And then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Karax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calgarim speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Almar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch. Your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it, and when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness.
The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Selnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artemis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. 
If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be. Now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. The shield emitters on India must be disabled. If we are to reactivate Cyrus, the time to begin is now, Hierarch. Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Amon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, Steam Cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it! Cybros is free from stasis. We call our forces from Endion's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from Malash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I care not for freedom, it softens a people. I will dethrone Malash and save my kind from oblivion. But they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. 
For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the Purifiers, and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. We have received new robotic siege technology hybrid. Please make your selection. Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true. And yet, the Firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. With the stasis grid down, the Zerg have begun infesting the surface of Cybros. We do not have long if we wish to save the purifiers. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. are truly as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. And Amon's hybrid have begun fortifying the hives. We must hope for the aid of the Purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Each is sealed by three null circuits. Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. We will need to keep a watchful eye upon the core matrix. If the Zerg destroy it, Cyrus falls as well. Hierarch. 
Cybos has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. Wait! I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activating. It's going to fire! Lorian, what are you... Commencing purification. signs disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. Executor Clolarian, you have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar, and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. If we are to follow, we would ask the entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the Purifiers shall join the Firstborn. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. This errand of yours has been a waste of our time. We should leave for slain. The Purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you. For now. Where shall we march? I am here. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. 
is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. Greetings, Hierarch. I have been analyzing the purifier bodies en masse. Their systems function more effectively when in proximity to each other. Outlying protocols can be offloaded to unoccupied cores. What does any of that mean, Carax? Their data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. Interesting. Yes, however, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. The engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Phoenix? I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious. Slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, you have proven to be of equal bravery. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. have chosen to join the Daylom. But there is still the matter of the Tal'Darim. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Tal'Darim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Tal'Darim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. 
Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so. But he has yet to face me. Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal. Their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. The Solar Core is functioning perfectly, Hierarch. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed. As the decrees of old describe. Readier warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazim. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain. Bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazim flows, we must endure the onslaught. This is under attack. You go to your death, Alarak. The Dark God will destroy you. I have heard enough of his lies. is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of the ritual, but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. Now the time has come. High Lord, hear me! I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward! We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. The right of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alarak. But likewise, the Talgarim can assist Malash. 
I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Calderim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. cause, as you do. What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of the now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society? They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Rohana. I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid, by the culmination of his efforts, false Zelnaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. Do 
not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us, or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Hierarch, as ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. The Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. ship boarded. I need our best warriors here. I know you are not trained for battle, Facesmith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. Facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. Corn has been destroyed. We must strike now. Pylark, is the Spear of Adun secure? Yes. We repelled the invaders before they could reach the Solar Core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! A 
Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction impudence back you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. Set a course for Aya. A new combat unit awaits factional assignment, Hyrule. <laughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Corps. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. The Golden Armada has devastated the Scepter, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, 
The Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ire. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Hierarch, the purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The Purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. So many lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand for ire. Brothers. Sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ire by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the Void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit, and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Your people are lost, Arcanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the Void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly, and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world, and all on it. No, Alarak. 
If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. Ayer. Some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris, and have only heard tales of our homeland. They will see much more of it, now that the power of the Keystone is within our grasp. Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes, though not as we initially suspected. Still, his tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I. The psionic matrix was first sparked 3,000 years ago. It is strange. Such a joyous event, and I only know of it from what has been recorded in history. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psy Matrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of the proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes. You must understand, though. To have so little of experience to recall it, my account is capable of flaws, of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our histories should be viewed after all. Without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. The Keystone is reacting to void energies on the surface of Ire. But this scale... It can only be... Amon. How long until the Keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The Keystone shows clear evidence of tampering, likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The Foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of a Zalnaga. You will find a way, Kerax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel, not a prison. I have such tangible memories of Ire. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera, its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took me to Aldera as a youngling too. It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. Matrix's power structures are accessible from three locations across Ayer. We must divide our forces to destroy them. I shall coordinate you and your executor's efforts from aboard the Spear of Adun. We can begin as soon as you are ready, Hyra. The psionic matrix is the beating heart of Ire, formed from the lattice of Kedaran crystals embedded within the planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I will send three forces. We shall destroy the matrix before Amon can recall the golden armada to Ire. Alarak, you must enter the Citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure. 
but the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. As I desire. What is your will? Our future is the day. There is much to be done. We stand with our allies. Narad's goal. It is my honor. We stand with our allies. Our future is the day. Almost just a moment longer. structure will trouble us no more. Contact the others and tell them of the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Alert the next team that they may begin. Carax, Phoenix, the loss of the first power structure has not gone unnoticed. Hybrid have convened to defend the area. Good. They shall suffer the full extent of my wrath. All in good time, friend Phoenix. The Hybrid are a powerful foe, and if we're going to face them, we will need support. I've spent quite some time studying void energy. I should be able to reclaim robotic units and structures from Amon. Then let us assemble our army so the Hybrid may fall before it. With the hybrid eliminated, we can safely destroy the power structure. There. The Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of ire. I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. If it reaches your position... Do not fear, Carax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the Purifiers, deploying war prisons. The Taldarine shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. The final power structure. When it falls, the Psi Matrix will be no more. You have done it, Artanis. We have stayed the Golden Armada's advance, for now. Initiating Dimensional Recall. That Doom has finished replicating a new combat unit. You can assign it to a faction now if you wish. I cannot begin to understand the depth of your sorrow, Artanis. Such noble Templar, now made a monstrosity. Those left, trapped in a body controlled by Amon. It is the most horrific of fates. But what pains me is the uncertainty of facing them. They are my brothers. Sisters. When we strike these abominations, will our brethren bear witness within? Will they be silent watchers? Or are they already lost to oblivion? I can offer you little comfort or surety, my friend. 
But no, what you do is the only course. Amon's forces are moving. It's time to strike. Now that the Psy Matrix has fallen, Amon cannot warp the Golden Armada back to Ire to defend himself. We must destroy his host body before it fully awakens. For the sake of our people, we cannot falter. something more, and you will not stop us! Brace yourself for the full might of the Firstborn! made from the flesh of our brethren and the Overmind's carcass. Indeed, Hierarch. My sensors indicate his form is consuming void energies at an alarming rate. In this state, even our most powerful weaponry will have no effect upon Amon. These shards, they generate void energy, drain life around them to feed his host body. They must be destroyed. The land near them has been destabilized. It's almost as if he's terraforming the area, turning it into the void. Wait. The shards are opening rifts, summoning entities to defend them. Then we are running out of time. Warriors, ready your blades. We fight for the future of Ire. destroyed. Ready the keystone, Karax. Our final stand approaches. Hierarch, one of our combat units can be assigned a new faction through the console in the War Council. You have surprised my people, Hierarch. They knew little of the bravery of the Templar. Some are even impressed by it. They have fought nobly, Alarak. I am honored that they stand with me. They admire your conviction and brutality. And if we are victorious this day, will they continue to stand with me? If I will it. But now is not the time to muse upon future things. Not when my vengeance awaits.
Can you sense the hope, Matriarch? I do. If we succeed, we will have a new chance to forge the unified society we strove for on Shakuras. We will preserve the traditions of the Nerezim. They will not be forgotten. In time, they may be. I fear losing our old ways, Artanis. But as we've worked with the Taldarim and the Purifiers, I now see that it is inevitable. Traditions must change as we do. A day may come when we leave behind the Shadow Walk, just as you have abandoned the Kala and the caste system. That is the price we must pay to become truly one people. So I have come to believe. You seem troubled by so much loss, Hierarch. How could one not be? But the brooding you sense is only concern for the task at hand. To convince our people that they must shed what they hold most sacred. You convinced me. I, who held the Kala above all else. You knew the risk that connection was presenting to us. Indeed. Though I seldom knew his possession, each was horrifying. I bore silent witness to the mockery he made of me. I cannot imagine the suffering they have experienced below. The release they must yearn for. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. Carrier, they await your preference. Valor is eternal. The Keystone is ready, Hierarch. We await your command. Carax, open a channel to our entire fleet. I will address the Templar. My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end, and with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity. Keystone is in place, Hierarch. It will require time to charge to its full power. The Nerezim stand ready, Artanis. We will hold the northern entrance to the temple. The Purifiers and I will secure the southern approach. And I lay claim to the primary battle line. Amon shall know my wrath firsthand. My forces will ensure the Keystone's safety and provide for our defense. We will reinforce your warriors as we are able. Hierarch, the Zergs surround us. But what of the Golden Armada? Disabling the Psi Matrix delayed their return, but... 
Agamon will bring the full might of the Great Fleet to bear against us. Of that, there is no doubt. But we shall not break. We are the Daylon, united as never before. Entaro Adun. Entaro Tassadar. Entaro Zeratul. Energy matrix charged. The keystone is ready, Hierarch. Warriors, pull back to the keystone. Let them come to us. has been banished back into the void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors. Rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. 
Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis? Jim? So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. sideways real fast. These shadows are tearing apart our ships. We're not gonna last long out here. The voice is coming from up ahead. We have to reach it. My forces will investigate. are close now, Artanis. I can sense it. We must find the corruption and clear it. The shadows are slowly consuming our warriors. Strike true, Templar! See. Veraku. Very well. Amon's minions are coming from that rift. Destroy it! the corruption. That voice. It is my former master. Tassadar. Do as he says. I call to you in dire need. Now you have come to this realm. Here I am prisoner. You must free me from his grasp. Whose grasp? Ah, the Queen of Blades. What a pleasant surprise. Nerud, I thought you were dead. Without form, we, the Zelnaga, return to the Void. Here I live on. But you will not be so fortunate. Hello, Duran. Do you remember what you did to me? Stukov. You have come to gloat, haven't you? No. I've come to say good night, you son of a bitch. I 
Artanis, you must come to me. It is Tassadar, my mentor. How can this be? Honored one, to see you bring such joy to my... Tassadar, a form I chose to inspire action in the one called Zeratul, in you. The prophecies Zeratul followed, the result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelnaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah, you don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed. There's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. is beginning. The Zelnaga's light will be impossible to hide from our enemy. The battle ahead shall be a difficult one. I hope you are prepared for it. Until this is finished. Jim, you'll have to handle this one. All right. I've set up my defenses at these two points. Looks like we gotta stand our ground if we're gonna get out of this alive. This swarm will aid its queen unto death. And the might of the firstborn stands with you. Then let's get moving.
That's it. I have nearly all of the Zelnaga's essence. I have been honored to serve you, my queen. The swarm is yours, Zagara. Remember our lessons. I shall. It is time. Tannis and I are in position, and we're not leaving, so don't even say it. Now what's the plan? Amon is enveloped within a barrier of energy. His void crystals make him nearly invincible. But they are also his weakness. When they leave him to recharge their energy, they become vulnerable to attack. We cannot take them down alone. His strength is too great in this realm. You have yet to see my power. We will bring his barrier down. Then, I will finish it. Looks like this is our last dance, darling. Let's get going. just ripped the ground out from under my command center. Now how are we supposed to fight something like that? The barrier has fallen. SCVs, evacuate the command center. That whole area's going down. 
It is over, Amon. You are but a product of the flawed cycle, manipulated for the entirety of your existence. You know nothing about me. I care little for the Zelnaga's infinite cycle, or your twisted lies. No. I choose something different. I choose freedom. For all of us. You about ready to get out of here, cowboy? 